Competition. It's a real thing. Clients getting hit up left and right by the same type of agency offering the same services with the exact same pitch. And you as an ambitious person who wants to start an online business, maybe a social media marketing agency, it leaves you wondering, is there a space for newcomers? Is the social media marketing space really saturated? And is it even possible to have success with it? That my friends is what I wanna answer in this three part video. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have a very clear idea as to whether this space is truly saturated and what you can do about it. And so without further ado, just like old times, I'm gonna hop on my whiteboard and I will see you there. So the first point that I wanna speak about to answer the question is social media marketing agency saturated is what I call the competency ratio. And for this, I'm gonna grab a pen, got my pen, and I'm gonna go on my whiteboard. Hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully the, the ring light is not too bad. But the first thing you wanna keep in mind is that social media marketing agency is a pretty low barrier to entry business model. Yes, there are a lot of alternatives out there that in my opinion are much lower barrier to entry, but it's still a pretty low bar to entry business model, right? Anyone can learn about it. Anyone can start sending a bunch of emails to prospects and consider themselves a social media marketing expert. Or for example, they can put together a website and they can call themselves an agency owner. You can't do that if you wanna be a doctor, right? Or if you wanna be an engineer. If you wanna call yourself a, an engineer or a doctor, you actually have to get a degree. And so low bar to entry business models are great because it allows anyone, you know, even if you're broke or even if you don't have any experience to get into the business model and with the right guidance and the right work ethic, you can become successful at it but what what happens is you get a lot of noise right so let's just consider this whole thing the SMA space and this includes everyone who considers themselves uh, an agency owner or who's looked into the space or who is doing about a, a bunch of outreach or who's sending out a bunch of emails or who has joined a Facebook community or who's looking to get into it right and so what happens is there's a lot of noise right we've got a lot of noise and that's because we've got a low barrier to entry business model and this always always happens in a low barrier to entry business model as I said you can't do that with uh, you know being a doctor or an engineer now what you don't realize when you're starting out is the fact that out of these people right there's a very very few percentage that are actually taking action and especially beginners are just unaware of this because you don't really understand what it takes to be successful with anything in life right it requires discipline it requires taking action it requires a good uh, work ethic it requires learning from people that have already been there and done that uh, and done that and can actually guide you uh, and a ton of other stuff and so it requires a bunch of things and it's not just about joining a facebook group a uh, mastermind or whatever it is although you can actually learn a ton just like for example my free facebook mastermind a little quick plug but to truly be successful with something it requires a lot more than that right so a only a small percentage of these people are actually taking action right and these are what I called action takers. And yes, if you watch my videos, I made this point in a previous video, but this is just a complete different take and there's gonna be a lot of points that I'm gonna cover here that I didn't cover in my previous video. So we've got the action takers. Now, out of the action takers, there's a lot of people that are taking action, right? But they don't have the right guidance. They're putting their time and energy into things that just don't quite work. And you watching this video might feel like that, right? You, you might feel like you're watching a bunch of YouTube videos. You might feel like you're consuming a bunch of content, but there's always either a missing piece of the puzzle or you're taking action, but then you hit a roadblock, right? And then you can actually overcome that. And so you can be taking action but not really move forward. And that's also a common trap that a lot of people fall into in the online space where you think you're moving forward, but all you're doing is just you know busy work, right? And, and you're not actually investing your time and energy into uh, revenue generating activities, which is what it actually takes to have a successful social media marketing agency. So we've got the action takers. Now out of the action takers, I like to go even deeper and uh, talk about the serious people, right? Now the serious people are the people that are relentless, right? They don't really give up uh, whenever they encounter an obstacle, right? They don't just get one or two rejections and think, oh, this, this just won't work for me, right? Uh, they are much more serious, they're relentless, and typically they also invest in themselves and they wanna speed the way up to success, right? And so we've got the serious people who are not really wasting uh, time and who have a clear plan of attack, okay? So we've got the serious people, and then finally, we've got what I call the competent people, okay? Now the competent people are just on a different level. The competent people are people that take something that they've learned, right? For example, my students, right? They take something that they, that they learned, but I equip them with the right thinking and right mindset to think for themselves, to stand out from the noise, right? And to actually walk their own path. So they don't just sign one, two clients, but they actually have an agency that can scale very quickly and very far because they've, they've walked their own path, right? They've paved their own path. So that's what I call competent people, right? And so I would actually argue that competent people are probably way smaller than I, I drew, okay? Um, simply because there's not many of them, 
right? And so this is what I want you guys to take into account. That, that's really the first thing that I want you guys to take into account uh, regarding whether a social media marketing agency is saturated or not. The fact that, yes, there's a lot of noise because we've got a low bar to entry business model, but the action takers are very few. The people who are serious are very few and the competent people are very, very few. And so to be honest, when I started in this space, I was excited because I knew I was 100% I was a serious person, right? I had a relentless work ethic. And not only that, but I could think for myself, right? I, I saw the space and I, I said, well, there's a few things that I just don't agree with. Like for example, cold calling or sending out hundreds of cold emails every single day. I'm gonna automate this whole thing. I'm gonna actually put thought into my hiring and a bunch of other stuff that I thought for myself, right? And so I was competing with only these people. But at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you how Yes, you can be in the exact same space as these people, but walk your own path. And we have almost close to zero competition. So this is the first point that I want you guys to keep in mind. And now to the second point. The next point is dropping a massive thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And you might be asking, well, Jaime, how does that relate to social media marketing saturation? And look, that's a valid question. The answer, every time you drop a big thumbs up, not only does the YouTube algorithm push out my content to a lot more people, which gets me motivated to produce more, but it also tells the algorithm that you like this content. And so it shows more of it on your recommendation. But one of the things that people say quite a lot is that uh, my videos are pretty valuable. So if you want to keep consuming my content and support me, go ahead and smash the like button. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The second point is what I call the echo chamber effect. And what this means is, let's imagine that the whole circle that I, I drew with all the noise in the social media marketing agency space is the circle that you currently see, right? So for example, we've got that circle, but just smaller, right? And so all you see every single day is just people in the circle, right? And there's a lot, a lot of noise. Maybe you're, you're part of like, you know, 30 different communities around this space, right? Each with like 1500 members. And you might think, well, that's a lot of people in the space. The first thing that you need to realize is that a lot of those people are just repeat people. What that means is that one person may join five different communities or might, might follow, you know, five different people on YouTube or et cetera, et cetera, right? F people like to follow a lot of people in one space, which in my opinion is a bad idea because then you get a lot of contradictions and it actually confuses you more than moves you forward. But that's the social media marketing space. What you don't seem to realize is that there's a ton of different spaces just like Social media marketing, uh, much, much bigger that people are interested in who are never ever gonna touch social media marketing agency. And one of the things that I said in my previous video is that if you actually wanna check this, go ahead, meet up with your you know high school friends and let's see how many of those people actually know about social media marketing agency. I can assure you it's gonna be a very uh, slim percentage. I would argue that not even my parents know uh, what SMA is and, and what I currently do. They have a very big idea of what I do. I help e-commerce brands grow, uh, but they don't know how I do it or they don't even know what the SMA space concept um, actually means, right? And so that's one of the things that I recommend you guys do to check whether a lot of people know about the, the SMA space, apart from obviously all the people that you see online every single day who you may also interact with. Now, to illustrate this point, as I said, we've got much, much bigger communities. For example, the uh, dropshipping space, right? dropshipping you know, e-com space, is way bigger. And you can just see that by the type of views they get on their uh, YouTube videos, right? Uh, the uh, dropshipping space is way, way bigger. Even the Amazon FBA is way bigger, right? Uh, Amazon FBA. Oops, it's running out. Uh, and then, you know, the, the, another big space is uh, trading, right? But also if we go offline, we've got, I don't know, the, the you know, investment banking space. Investment banking space. Uh, we also have, you know, people who wanna become lawyers, right? Or people who are gonna go down, you know, a typical just nine to five that doesn't really serve their purpose, whatever it is, right? But my point here is that there's so many different spaces that people are talking about every single day. But for you right now, it may just feel that the SMA space is full of people who are always constantly talking about it because that is probably the people that you see on a daily basis, the content you consume and everything you think about on a daily basis. So that is the echo chamber concept. And now to the final concept. The third concept is what I call branching out and how you can use this to not even compete but actually go down your own path and almost just reign supreme, right? And what that, how you can actually do that is, the first thing is you wanna imagine the SMA space kind of like a, a big tree. Hope you guys can see that, uh, probably not. But we've got a bunch of branches right here, right? Uh, that's a horrible looking tree. And so what you wanna do is you wanna imagine this trunk as the SMA space, okay? Now, the cool thing about uh, SMA is that you can go down so many different routes, right? You don't, you're not just going on the trunk and, and you shouldn't. If you're doing this, then you're gonna run into problems, right? But you don't wanna go straight into the trunk and compete with agencies that do 
any type of niche, any type of service, right? And that's that's a, a big problem that a lot of beginners have, right? They they try to have way too many services, way too many niches, right? And so what happens is you're competing with this full-fledged agencies that have a ton of complexity, maybe a really cool office, have like 50 employees, right? And you're just in whatever, your, your office or your bedroom, you're just getting started and you have close to zero experience and you have one contract or even zero, right? And so that is a big problem that you do not want to run into. And the way you avoid that is by, instead of going into the trunk, right? <sighs> Will we get a pen that works by the end of, the, of this video? There we go, red. Uh, instead of going into the trunk, you wanna branch out. Now, there's a bunch of different branches in the SMMA space, but there's really two big branches, right? And so if I were to draw that, then let's just imagine these are big branches, right? And these two big branches are local business and e -com. Now, within this big branches, we've got a ton of different small branches, right? For example, for local business, it could be, you know, dentists, it could be uh, restaurants, it could be clinics, it could be chiropractors, it could be, uh, there's a ton of them, right? For e it could be tech, it could be health, it could be uh, uh, wellness, it could be, you know, beauty even, uh, it could be apparel and fashion, it could be uh, jewelry, right? There's, there's a ton out there as well. So what you wanna do instead is you wanna go down, I personally recommend Ecom, right? Simply because the returns are much more clear. Uh, also the current social landscape doesn't really accommodate very well for a local business, especially when you're just starting out. But I recommend you go for Ecom and I recommend you pick one branch. So for example, let's just say that you pick tech. Now, why is that gonna set you apart? Well, how many tech agencies in the e-com space do you know of? Not a lot, right? So you're literally paving your own path. And so you have close to zero competition and you can just focus on your craft and be the best tech agency in the space for tech brands who are trying to grow online. And this is a massive advantage that you can get when you're just starting out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's not too unclear. And hopefully you guys can take these strategies and apply them for your agency to just completely overcome saturation and to finally have a clear answer as to whether SMA is saturated. Hopefully you can see in this video that if you go about it the right way, it really is not, right? And if you implement the right mindset plus the right strategy, you're going to find yourself paving your own path and actually competing with very few people. The final thing that I will say on this on this topic is that the, the great thing about social media marketing agency is that you don't have to sell you know, 3,000 products to be uh, very profitable, right? You could literally get two, three, four clients and get to that 10K a month mark, which for most people is a, is a great position to be at, right? So you don't have to reinvent the wheel or be incredibly successful to, at the end of the, the month, have a, a lot of profit and, and live a very, very comfortable life. That's another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind, the fact that there's so many different brands out there and you literally just have to sign two, three, maybe four of those brands to have a really, really cool income and a really cool lifestyle. And that's one of the things that I love about the SMMA space, the fact that, look, you don't have to conquer the whole e -com space, right, to be successful with SMMA. You only have to sign two, three, four clients uh, and uh, get to that 10K a month mark. So guys, that is it for this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed these mindsets and strategies. Uh, if you did drop a big, big thumbs up, it really helps out on with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, my team and I would really, really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency with a specific focus on this little branch right here, which is the e-com space. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel. And uh, the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free Facebook mastermind, it's honestly an incredible community, the feedback I'm getting on it, just like for example, this message right here, it really means a lot because we're putting a lot of content out there, a lot of work, a lot of live interviews, live trainings, for you guys uh, to enjoy. So if you wanna join, go ahead and click the link in the description. And uh, if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one, peace.